Buckle up, space fans, because we're about to shatter that serene picture of the universe. You might have thought our cosmic neighborhood was all peaceful and safe, but trust us, it's actually a high-stakes arena where galaxies and planets are under constant threat, including Earth. Right now, we're in the firing line facing some serious space dangers, and asteroids are at the top of that list. Today, we're zeroing in on one specific asteroid that's got scientists on high alert 11955 Bennu. Get ready to meet this tiny but mighty space rock that's packed a big punch. Bennu is a type C or carbonaceous asteroid, meaning it's loaded with carbon, the building block of life as we know it. Discovered back in September, 99 by Lincoln's near-Earth asteroid research team, a linear. Bennu was initially known as 1999RQ36, but this small, mysterious world has since become a big deal for astronomers and a space enthusiasts alike. Get ready to meet Bennu, a space rock that's got scientists seriously buzzed. Did you know that this tiny but mighty asteroid was once a contestant in a naming contest? Back in 2012, the University of Arizona, the Planetary Society, and the Linear Project invited kids from all around the globe to propose names for this cosmic gem. And the winner was none other than Michael Puzio, an incredible third grader from North Carolina. His name was inspired by a fascinating character from Egyptian mythology, the Bennu bird which symbolizes rebirth and regeneration. This asteroid is no small fry, in fact, it's considered one of our planet's potential threats, holding the second spot on the Sentinel Risk Table's Palermo Technical Impact Risk Scale. Bennu zooms around the sun at a mind-boggling 11389 commas per hour, making its appearance from Earth every six years a rare and thrilling sight. As this space rock heats up under the sun's rays, it releases thermal radiation in all directions as it rotates, leaving us with many questions about this mysterious object that's got our scientists hooked. Let's dive into the fascinating details of Bennu based on our current knowledge. Thanks to Arcebo Observatory Planetary Radar and the Goldstone Deep Space Network, scientists have gathered a wealth of information about this asteroid. But it was the incredible Osiris Rex mission that has truly given us an up-close look at Bennu. Launched from Cape Canaveral back in 2016, this NASA spacecraft traveled over 1.2 billion miles to reach our target, the ancient space rock known as Bennu. On June 18, 2019, history was made when Osiris Rex captured an awe-inspiring image just 600 meters from Bennu's surface. That's roughly equivalent to a mile in football fields. The mission's goal? To collect and return samples of Bennu's surface material for scientists to analyze back here on Earth. And it's not just about the samples themselves, but what we can learn by studying Bennu. Understanding how other asteroids form and move through space could be key in predicting and preventing potential future dangers for our home planet. Let's uncover more about Bennu's intriguing features. Initially, radar observations suggested Bennu had a soft surface, but Osiris Rex images revealed a rugged landscape filled with rocks of varying sizes. This asteroid isn't smooth, instead, it boasts an array of boulders that cover its exterior. Notably, the equatorial region hosts a clear ridge formed by accumulated regolith, tiny particles created from meteorite impacts and space debris. What's more surprising is Bennu's unusual rotation, its axis is tilted at an extreme 178 degrees relative to its orbit, and it spins in the opposite direction we'd expect, known as retrograde motion. Now, let's talk about movement. Between 99 and 13, scientists tracked how fast Bennu was shifting due to a phenomenon called the Yarkovsky effect. This occurs when sunlight causes an object's rotation to generate heat unevenly, affecting its trajectory over time. As a result, Bennu travels an average of 1.5 meters per year along its semi-major axis. With this in mind, we can also look into what lies beneath. Studies combining gravitational and thermal forces have given us an estimated density for Bennu, about 1190 grams per cubic meter, or roughly only slightly denser than water. This surprisingly low density hints that the asteroid likely has a debris pile structure within, with spaces between rocks accounting for approximately 40% of its volume. Let's dive into what could potentially happen if Bennu were on a collision course with Earth. Given its size being almost half a kilometer in diameter, it falls within the category of large asteroids that have the potential to cause significant damage. For context, an asteroid of this size hits our planet approximately every 130,000 years on average. Now, when such an object makes landfall, it's not just about the impact itself, but also the subsequent effects, tsunamis if it enters a body of water or massive dust clouds blocking sunlight, due to global wildfires sparked by its immense heat during entry. Scientists estimate that Bennu's impact could release energy equivalent to detonating one jegan of TNT. For comparison, this is about three times more powerful than the Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear device ever tested. Let's visualize what could happen if Bennu were to collide with our planet. First, it's crucial to understand that asteroid impact probabilities are calculated based on their physical properties. 
in Bennu's case, detailed shape models and astrometry derived from radar observations have significantly improved the assessment of Yarkovsky acceleration, a phenomenon causing asteroids to drift off course due to uneven heat absorption and radiation and consequently, the chances of an impact. As of 2014, scientists estimated that there's about a 0.37% chance Bennu will hit Earth between 2075 and 2096, which on the Palermo scale translates to a score of 1.71. This indicates it's unlikely but not entirely off the table. To put these numbers into perspective, recall the devastation caused by a little boy in Hiroshima during World War II, an atomic bomb that released about 15 kilotons of energy. Now, imagine an object roughly half a kilometer wide, like Bennu, striking our planet at approximately 26 kilometers per second with force equivalent to detonating over 1 billion tons of TNT. The impact would generate an enormous shockwave, potentially causing widespread destruction and global effects on climate and ecosystems, making it clear why asteroids like Bennu are of such scientific interest for better understanding and potential prevention strategies. Let's put these mind-boggling figures and timelines into perspective to better understand Bennu's potential impact. If an atomic bomb like Little Boy detonated over Hiroshima had a destructive energy of just 13 kilotons, imagine what would happen if Bennu were to collide with our planet. The asteroid is approximately half a kilometer wide and could unleash the equivalent force of around Firth 200 megatons upon impact, more than 90 times stronger than the combined might of all nuclear bombs dropped throughout World War II. As we keep tabs on Bennu's journey, it's important to remember that by September 23, 2060, the asteroid will be about 750,000 kilometers or 460,000 miles away from Earth and too faint to spot with ordinary binoculars. Interestingly, this close approach in 2060 leads to a divergence in predictions for its near-future trajectory, specifically around 2035. On September 25th of that year, Bennu is expected to pass within an astonishing 300,000 kilometers or 190,000 miles from our planet a cosmic proximity that sparks both scientific curiosity and caution about potential implications. Let's dive into the specifics of Bennu's trajectory to understand its potential risks more accurately. As we previously mentioned, Bennu will pass close by Earth in 2060 at about 750,000 kilometers or 460,000 miles away, which is too faint for standard binoculars. But here's where things get really interesting. By 2135, Bennu's path becomes highly unpredictable due to the asteroid's gravitational interactions with our planet, potentially leading it through a so-called keyhole, just over 55 kilometers wide. This keyhole passage raises concerns about potential future impacts. Fast forward to September 5, 2175, and there's a 1 in 24,000 chance of Bennu making contact with Earth, showcasing the importance of continued asteroid tracking for our planet's safety. Even more concerning is its predicted trajectory on September 24, 2096, a mere century from now, where the likelihood of an impact jumps to a 1 in 11,000 probability. As we navigate through the vastness of space, it becomes increasingly clear that monitoring Bennu and other asteroids like it is crucial for our collective survival. Now that we've got a better grasp of Bennu's potential impact risks and its possible origins from an even larger celestial body, it's time for you to share your thoughts. What do you think is the most crucial factor in tracking asteroids like Bennu? Let us know in the comments below. For those who want a quick break from space facts, don't forget to check out our other video on top 10 magic tricks right here. Before we wrap up today's cosmic journey, let's not miss this opportunity. Hit that subscribe button to get notified every time we upload a new educational video on fascinating topics from science, history, or pop culture. We're excited to share more knowledge and fun facts with you in the next video, so stay tuned for that.